2016, Takauma See or Lake Kauma was voted for the most beautiful mountain lake here in Switzerland. Right now I'm at Zurich at the main station and heading to platform 11 to Kasha train to Kur. For Kur we continue to Flims where the lake is located. Alright, we don't have much time. I would say let's move forward because the train leaves in a few minutes. So, I have just arrived in Flims. The village has only 2,800 residents and it belongs to the canton of Graubünden. Fun fact, by the way, we don't call it Graubünden, we call it Bündenland. Let's go straight to the north centrum. To come here, it took me three hours by train and bus. I started my journey today from Bern and there is a direct train which is going from Bern to Zürich. From Kur to come to Flims to come here, there isn't any train, so you have to take the bus. This lake we're gonna visit today. Switzerland has four national languages, German, French, Italian and Roman. In Flims, 87% have spoken Roman in the year 1880. And today, only 18% still know the language, but now everyone speaks with German. What's also special about this place is that today more people can speak Portuguese than the original language Roman. And that's because many Portuguese came to Switzerland as guest workers in the 70s and in the 80s. Before I go to the lake, I have to buy some food and some water. For all that stuff, I had to pay 9 francs. I didn't want to eat now something, but I really have to eat this cosa to drink some coffee and to start the day in a good way. Now you can see where we are. We are at this point here and the Kaumannsee is here. So with the car it will be 4 minutes and then from here we have to hike for 15 minutes. But I will not take a car or a bus because of this croissant which I ate right now. I will walk down. And this time I didn't forget the sun cream to bring it with me. And this is the sun cream for my last video which I bought in Appenzell. How could I forget it? I mean I paid 20 francs after all. So let's take it over on my skin. Just another sunny day. Alright, let's go. I have everything what I need now and let's move forward to the lake. By the way, I'm very glad that today we don't have 30 or 35 degrees like how it in Appenzell was the case. Today we have about 20 degrees and it's perfect. <laughs> they are amazing guys, they are amazing. Fans from Flims, you are the best flying here. Yeah! easy hike to the cable car and from there we can take the cable car to go to the lake or we can walk down I will decide later what I will take but I think we will walk down because yeah it's not that far away another thing is that I've seen now that they have some uh, restrictions because of the coronavirus maximum 1700 people can be on the same area at the Kaumase and hopefully today it will not reach the 1700 maximum <laughs> If you come here, don't mind, there are several paths which are going down, so sometimes you have to choose between the right and the left. So this fence here don't allow us to enter the area. To enter the area we have to pay 18 francs and I think that's totally too much. I really don't want to pay it. I will walk around the lake and see if maybe on the other side we can go down. If not, that will be very bad. Here is where the fence ends. The fence goes also into the water. This area here it's for free, it's my area. <laughs> wow, how crazy is that? They crossed the lake on this rope from this side to the other side. What I personally find exciting about this lake is that this lake fills up every spring by itself, even though it has no inflow or outflow. 
the temperature varied between 17 and 22 degrees. Of course, I could go now into the lake and tell you how it is, but I don't want to show you my abs, my six pack, which I really have. Did you know how in French a six pack is called? Tablette de chocolat. How cool is that? The Francophone use chocolate for, for a six pack. And in my next video, I'm gonna be in the French part of Switzerland. I'm gonna visiting the Lac du Tanné. That will be also the last video of the mini series. Here we have the fence again. The fence which divides the VIP area from the poor area. <laughs> but you see, I could walk around the lake and, and didn't have to pay. So I think it will be maybe worth it to pay if you wanna really go swimming because there are some beaches, made beaches, and on the poor, on the free side, there isn't any beach. But wait, I've seen one, but it's, yeah, it wasn't that good, you know? So it depends what your goal is and what you wanna do. I almost forgot the myth about the Kaumasee. In the legends of Flims, it is said again and again that the Kauma water can heal people. In the 19th century, the region began to transform into a health resort and many celebrities went to Flims to heal themselves. It is said that the water accelerates the healing process, especially for eye and skin diseases. So, I made it out of the area. Now I'm gonna catch the bus to Chur and go back to the main station of Zürich from there to burn. But before I end the video, check out what you're gonna see in the next video.